Okay, so in the garage it's a little bit dark, but in this video I'm going to show you how to change the headlight bulbs on your Mutt motorcycle. So mine's a 2019 model, and if you weren't aware already, you have two bulbs in the headlight. One is a kind of dual purpose um, main and dipped beam, which is a HS1, and the side light is a little W5W. I am uh, replacing mine with these lights, uh, these light bulbs, but also you could choose anything as long as it's obviously the right uh, fitment and to do this job you basically need three things one is a phillips head screwdriver second is a 12 mil socket or spanner and then i recommend some kind of towel or cloth that you can rest the um the light on so i'm doing this on a fat sabbath um but the process should be pretty similar to any mutt or even a some of the standard 125s that look kind of this type. Uh, apologies if the light kind of goes up and down, I have a light sensor here in the garage, so the light may vary a little bit, but we'll do our best. Let's uh, roll the credits and get started. Okay, so I'm not going to take you through the, through the full kind of de deconstruction, but um, Basically, this is all you want to do things in. Uh, first of all, get a rough idea of where this light is positioned in terms of angle. I'm lining it up kind of with the um, indicators. We're going to remove these 12 mil bolts on either side first. That will make this kind of cage kind of floppy and allow us to kind of position the main headlight um, kind of down on the wheel a little bit. Then we will come round and uh, remove these screws. So basically it's just these two screws that are holding the light in place, which is kind of scary. Um, so that's it, we'll just quickly disassemble that and um, then we can get access to it. So just be careful pulling things apart. Um, taking things apart is easy, it can be put back together, it's a bit um, trickier, but yeah. Let's uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've undone the side screws and the bolts that are holding this cage in uh, and obviously the, the light housing as well. So now it's just a compression fit holding these things together. So when we pull this out now, um, it's going to start to fall apart on you, essentially, uh, which is obviously what we want to be able to get at the light. Just be careful. That's why I recommend you want to get a towel. I'm going to put a towel just down here and... Uh, yeah, should help us out. And putting the kind of bolts and stuff to one side. So, a couple of bolts here. There's a couple of screws just on here. And then the grill that we have on the Sabbath just down here. And you can see this is where I've put the towel so that I can rest um, the whole light on it to make sure it doesn't get damaged or scratched. So, you should be able to see, I'm not sure how it comes up in the video here, but there is some markings here to kind of confirm the size the bulb for this unit, so HS1 and W5W, just like we mentioned already. And to get these bulbs out is relatively straightforward from this point. So I've already kind of pulled this one out a little bit. So the side light or the W5W bulb is basically pressure fit. So you have to kind of give it a fair bit of a tug, but you see there's a little lip there and this kind of clips in just about there. So when you come to kind of change it and push it back in, I just need to kind of apply some pressure and then for this other bulb there's basically these kind of pronged clips on the back and we can just basically squeeze here and then that will kind of come off and we're just going to undo this little protector I mean the um, the connector here so pretty straightforward I am going to put on um, a rubber glove that I have here um, just because you don't want your fingerprints getting contacts with the bulb so let me get the bulbs kind of changed over and then reconnect the cables and you can see kind of what that looks like okay so as I mentioned I'm fitting these um, Osram bulbs so you can see on the left hand side it's a new Osram bulb it has that nice blue tinge to it so it should be a nice kind of white xenon-ish look um, and then on the right hand side is the bulb that I'm taking out here you can see it just in the 
socket there. So all we're going to do basically is just push this down into the hole until we kind of feel it click into place. I'm probably going to use my other hand uh, on the underside to get that pushed in. And basically once this kind of piece here is fully underneath, then you know it's in and it should feel nice and flush. There we have it. Just took a little bit of twisting, but it's back how it was when we took things off. So now we can just take the top off of this one. Just pulls straight up like that. It's only going to go on back um, one way, so don't have to worry uh, too much about things. But obviously, that was the main thing holding the lamp in place. So just make sure it doesn't uh, fly off and, and disappear. Then we basically undo these two little prongs, and we can then remove the bulb. Again, this does only go in uh, one way, so you can see the kind of two kind of protruding parts of the bulb at the bottom there, and only one at the top. But let's just get that changed over now. Okay, so I connected the new bulb in, just so we can see it in here, so you can see the bit looks a bit bluer now. And um, obviously, what? Oh, we dropped it. Look at that. That was close. Good job. Didn't hit anything. Um, so. The main thing here is obviously remember that you are you should be using a motorcycle fitment bulb because you want that vibration resistance in there. Now all we need to do is just carefully put things back in the same way that we uh, deconstructed it. So the main thing is to keep in mind um, where these two lugs are on the bottom. So this, these obviously need to go down the bottom of the light unit. We can see those little holes down there. Um, so put those in first. And I think I might use a little bit of, um, oh, what's that blue? Uh, lock, not Loctite, thread lock, um, because mine were a little bit loose and it is metal on metal. So uh, I'm going to put a bit of thread lock in there and uh, yeah, put things all back together. So I put that back together and then uh, can show you what it looks like. Okay, so in case you're not sure about what I meant by threadlock, this is uh, the stuff I use. I use it on um, my quadcopters and other stuff, so that's why it has some this handy, but anything will do. Um, and the main thing you want to be careful when you're putting all this back together, obviously, is all of the electric wiring is pretty much there in the, the lamp housing. So just be careful as you're pushing back some things in there, you don't dislodge some of the other cables. You might want to get um, someone else to help, because you need you need three hands, really, but... Um, See how you get on. Okay, so just try to reposition my uh, light a little bit to show you. So, when you're putting it all back together, make sure that this is clipped in quite nicely. So, you should see this quite even all the way around. Now, as I mentioned when I was taking this apart, this um, bolt wasn't too bad. This one felt a little bit weak, which is why I mainly put the thread lock on. Um, just be gentle, obviously. It's only those two bolts holding that whole enclosure together, really. Okay, so the same as we mentioned when we we're taking this apart, just slot this back in so the it's a compression fit. I want to make sure that the, the holes and stuff line up. As you can see, I need to adjust this a little bit more, but you can kind of make sure everything is in quite neatly. And there should be a little bit of a gap going through here when we finish that you can kind of get a cloth through to clean it um, when you're cleaning and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we're nearly ready to uh, complete reassembly. Okay, so that's um, the last bolt done up. And so I've kind of positioned the light pretty much back um, where it was before. Ideally, you would maybe put a mark on the wall or something so you can see kind of what things look like. But um, let's turn the ignition on and check that the bulbs work. And the main thing is to just make sure of, obviously, these bolts are holding the position of the light. So you don't want to over tighten them, but you want them tight enough so that it's not wiggling around um, whilst you're riding. Ignition time. Good. It works. 
job done and looks much whiter, cleaner light. So I'm happy with that. Hope this video helped. Um, leave a comment below if it has helped and uh, any other videos that might be helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.